Hey, it's, uh, it's definitely been a minute. By that, I mean I last streamed on here three weeks ago, and I just sort of disappeared. What's up, guys? It's that one nerd, Jacob, and, um, yeah, I have not been active on YouTube in the slightest. Not even on my second channel, where I said I was gonna uh, re-upload full Twitch streams, so I apologize. I'm just lazy. That's, that's all this boils down to, is pure laziness. Uh, I have nobody to blame here but myself. And you know what? That's alright. I'll admit it when I've been lazy. I have, indeed, been very, very lazy. And I can't say I haven't had time to edit stream highlights. I've been home all day. Every day. For the past month. Because of, you know, because of this stupid thing right here. <laughs> this is my cast. And yes, I am this flexible. For a fat man. But yeah, so, uh... I'm pretty sure most of you already know, I've been home for the past month because of an injury sustained to my foot. Not gonna get into it here, because I've been into it all over the place. If you want to know about it, just look up any of my social medias. It's just, it's there. It's there. You can find any of it there. But yeah, so, um, I'm lazy, and I apologize. Now, I'm not exactly gonna promise that the laziness is gonna stop. Uh, the thing is... I've found that, personally, I much rather prefer streaming over on Twitch than whenever I would stream on YouTube or just do regular videos on YouTube. The reason being, Twitch is a platform that is streaming first and then you can watch videos second if someone isn't streaming. You can watch their full stream re-uploads. Whereas YouTube is video first and then streaming second. You know, with YouTube, you have to search for the game you want to watch, and then if you do want to watch live streams, instead of pulling up one of the top videos that it suggests for you in that category, you have to go over, select live, and I'm not trying to shame YouTube on that front at all. Again, I understand that they are very video forward rather than live streaming forward, and yes, they do have promoted live streams here and there, but for the most part, they focus on the actual video aspect. Uh, Twitch, I have personally way more viewer interaction and just overall viewers in general whereas on youtube i would normally peak out at around four people per stream some of the past streams i've done over the past week have gone upwards of 10 which guess what sounds very small but since i'm a small creator that is huge <laughs> like that is a number that is very large so i don't plan on completely giving up on YouTube quite yet, but I am just stating that yes, I have felt more aligned towards staying on Twitch. Um, stream highlights, I want to still do. I don't necessarily want to do weekly stream highlights anymore because now, since I'm stuck at home all day, I have uh, been trying to at least stream five days a week and if i were to keep the format where every game gets like 10 minutes then that would be almost an hour of footage that i am throwing together and uploading on a weekly basis and i've said it once i'll say it again i feel like people do not care to watch 40 to 50 minute videos from smaller creators as they would care to watch them from larger creators, which is why, like, if you look at Markiplier, he uploads lots of half-hour videos, but people watch them because they're familiar with them. So, since no one's really familiar with me, who's really gonna be like, see this 40-minute video? Yeah, I'll watch that full 50-minute video, even though I've never heard of this man in my life. And I get that you could technically say the same thing about Twitch streaming, like, oh yeah, people are probably only gonna pop in for five minutes before they pop out. I have found the exact opposite to be true. If I just say some stuff to interact with them, they're more likely to stay. Whereas on YouTube, it's a, if it's a video that's already uploaded, I have no way to interact with people. So people are just like, oh, this is okay. Whereas I can interact with people on Twitch and they're like, you know what? I like this guy. I think I'll stick around a little bit. Obviously, I have nowhere near enough money to hire a video editor. Or I would just do you know, stream highlights, not just weekly, but pretty much every stream that I think is entertaining. Whereas right now, literally basically all I can do is guarantee, not even guarantee, but the least that I can semi-promise that I will probably break that promise on is, oh yeah, I can get out at least one video a week of a stream that I just found particularly entertaining for that week. 
That is possible. That is something that I realistically can say that I could possibly do more than a weekly stream highlights or highlights of every stream. Because let's be honest, not every stream is entertaining. There's some streams where at the end of the stream, I was just like, God, that was the most boring, unentertaining thing I've ever done. But then there's some streams at the end where I'm like, dude, best stream ever. Everyone's going to love this. Uh, that's pretty much where I've been. Now, if you do want to catch my live streams, I have the top link in my description as the link to my Twitch channel. So pretty much every day at around 5.50 p.m. Central Standard Time is whenever I start. And I try to go anywhere from... I don't really have a maximum time, but the minimum I try to stream, unless the stream is just absolutely dead and no one's watching it, is an hour and a half. That's, that's the bare minimum that I will try to promise myself to stream. Uh, but there's been some streams that have been upwards of, I think the finale of Resident Evil 8 went to like three hours. So it's not always going to be an hour and a half. It could be longer. And the only time it would be shorter is if, again, it's just extremely boring. Um, another place I've been slightly more active on is uh, TikTok. Yeah. You know, another thing I found with video editing, I much rather prefer editing around one minute videos than editing 20 minute videos. Say whenever I was normally editing videos, I normally only had an hour and a half to two hours to edit. So instead of going through and trying to put nice little editing touches in there, it was mostly just me trying to cut the video down to be as short as possible, but also be watchable, if that makes sense. Whereas if I have one and a half or two hours to spend on a one minute video, oh, a s just so much more work can go into that. So much more work. So yeah, what I've been working on for TikTok is a quick Minecraft history. Yeah, I'm one of those people that talks about the history of Minecraft. Right now, my two most active platforms are Twitch and TikTok. But yeah, hopefully in the future, I can get some stuff done. Uh, I'd love to just do if I can't do the uh, Twitch stream highlight, whichever one is the most entertaining for the week, I do want to try to do at least one video a week on here. Medium length, like 20 to 30 minutes tops. Could be shorter, I don't care. But like, really all I have time for on YouTube now is one video a week. I can't really afford doing too much more, especially whenever I do get the ability to start going back to work. Um, I probably won't have the time for YouTube again there either. This might be the last time I upload for a while. Good thing I'm not promising to upload, I'm just heavily suggesting that I might. Okay, well, anyway, that's, that's about all I have, uh, all I have planned out for this video. Finally, last plug. Help me with my GoFundMe to pay for my hospital visit. The link is also in the description. It should be right underneath my Twitch link if I had to guess. Uh, we've gotten to $75 so far, which is, you know what, I'm gonna be honest, way more than I thought I would get. I thought I would get $0. But yeah, if you have the time to just share it, that would be great. If you have the ability to donate, I will be forever thankful. Obviously, if you can't do either, that's totally fine too. My health problems should not be your problem. So, if you can, great. If you can't, totally understand. Don't worry about it. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, links to find me outside this channel in the description below in case you want to see what I'm doing outside of YouTube, which really isn't that much. And I will see you guys next time, whenever the hell that may be. See ya!